Welcome to my latest Toy Tuesday video. Before I start, I just wanted to say we've had a lot of new subscribers again this week. Welcome everyone to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching the videos. Now, if you had this toy or any of the other toys and you want to share your stories with them, please leave them in the comments section below. That's what this is all about. Um, it's great hearing them. We love the stories. I had some great photographs and um, pictures of people's Action Men stuff from last week and some G.I. Joe as well. So that was fantastic to see, thank you. So share your stories and uh, please comment on the videos. But for now, we're gonna skip to the intro on the promenade. I don't think it's raining today, so it should go all right. Welcome to Blackpool and welcome to my latest Toy Tuesday video. This week it is the turn of the epic sounding Matchbox Power Track. This is the Monza 2000 set. Peter Kay described the Race and Chase set as his best ever Christmas present. Basically it's a miniature version of Scale Electric but with Matchbox cars which sounds very cool. They've got headlights as well. They've been in the box for 42 years though so the question is will they still run? What do you reckon? Is it all going to be there? Look at that. Let me just say this looks very promising. Oh, with no plug on there. that safe to use? Might be. What's the worst that could happen? It can only blow up. So that is working. It's live. And it's not blown up. Correct. That's a good start. Uh, what age is this? Right. So we've got some great catalogues with pictures in there. But these are the cars. Look at the cars. They're epic, aren't they? Oh, I love that. Was it a Corvette and a Porsche? Well, that's awesome. Those are the contacts underneath. I presume everything there is intact. Might need a little bit of a clean up. Don't know what the track's like. This might be really, really promising. So, what I'm going to do tomorrow, uh, now I've done my initial bit of research on this. I'm going to see what this footage looks like and if it's terrible in the dark in in lockdown Blair Witch type mode then I'll go and refilm it tomorrow. If not then this might make the proper edit and you're going to see me having a lot of fun with this which is very cool. Is that a pigeon? So this is a box I found Mark's Gay Electric track but I don't think it is so... I guess my next job is to clean and set up the track. I've also found this in that bag. I don't know if it works or not, but if it does, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna include that as well. Right, I'm getting excited now. So let's get this set up and see if it runs. So we've set up a mini track and we're gonna do a quick test run because I'm not convinced that they're gonna work. You ready? Yeah. two wires yeah and uh, connect it to that yeah and put those on and crank up the voltage plan yeah and then there'll be um, turbos so this piece isn't working which is what puts the power to the track so we're going to try and fudge together some kind of work around and see if we can get them running why me always happens to me So far, not so good. This is the connector for the track that gives it power and you plug the, um, call them, these things anyway. So they plug into there and the power. 
and for some reason no power to the track at all. So ripped it apart and I still can't figure out why. I think it's got something to do with that orange thing there not working. Now this is another piece that I found in a box in the back and that has been completely cannibalized and rewired. So my thinking or my logic is that if I solder some wires to this and make one of the tracks live with a transformer from a train set then I should be able to get one of the cars running on the track and we are in business but if that doesn't work then this is a completely bust the first ever completely bust toy Tuesday hmm. best thing to do is to solder some wires on this and see if it works then We have a car running on the track without a controller. So plan what we're on now. We've done A, B, C, and D. Five. Five, so plan five, which is A, B, C, D, E, right? Plan E is to use this controller. We think that is a power and that is the controller. So we're gonna chop that off, give it a direct current, plug that in and maybe blow everything up or not and it might work then but then we've only got one car running but at least we've only got one car running or at least we've got a car running rather plan e so plan e plan f so we are running with no controllers on a transformer in opposite directions, that is definitely a wiring issue, but they are very cool. Oh, the Porsche has stopped now. Oh, there we go. So that is both cars running on a longer track with no trigger things. Oh, no, they just wiped out. There we go. Not having a great deal of luck so far. I don't know why I get myself into these situations, but the best we can do, uh, we can't get that bit to work because the other piece that goes with it is broken. The best we can do is run them on a transformer and we have wired them the wrong way, messing about trying to figure out which is the right way to wire them and we're not gonna swap them back now. So the best we can do is get them running on a slightly longer track in opposite directions and hopefully crash. I, I mean, until they eventually come flying off the track. When one comes off the track, the power goes to the other track and seems to just send the other one flying, which is great fun, but it's not the effect we're after. Try again. Take two. We have managed to incorporate... That was well done, wasn't it? So we've managed to incorporate the bridgey bit in and I think I've reversed the wires so that they're both running the same way on the track. So let's see if we can have them running in the right direction with that thing. Starting with one. Starting with one. Oh, look at that. So we are going to try a little bit of blue tack, see if that helps the connection. <laughs> There's got to be something wrong with that in a track. It's all yours. Right.
feel a bit like Jerry Springer at the end of this video. I think this is my first ever Toy Tuesday that's a bit of a bust and we've not been able to get it working properly. Okay, granted the cars are running now. One of them, the headlights, is broken, but that's not something I can repair. They're running off a, a train transformer. I couldn't get these to work. I couldn't get the right connection there. And I can't find a wiring diagram on the internet to fix it. So it's not like I could return to it without going by an old brand new part, which kind of defeats the object. I wanted to get it running. But that said, um, this is an epic toy. To have cars this small racing this fast, they've got good grip, um, they absolutely fly. They've got headlights as well. I think they're just epic. Um, this set would have cost 19.99 in 1978. And uh, that's about 100 quid in today's money. It was cheaper than Scale Electric at the time. The box artwork is, is always epic, and I think it's a great toy. I actually would like more of it and uh, to have another go, but that might be a, a Toy Tuesday of the future. But for now, that's this week's Toy Tuesday. I will be back next week with something that I am not gonna fix, uh, or repair, or is gonna drive me nuts, or potentially not be able to do in a week. So. I will see you next week for more Toy Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate this has been a longer than normal video, so I hope you've enjoyed it. It's actually been one of my favorites um, to, to edit and do, so.